the time I almost gave up on the Toyota Tacoma. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. There was a time that I almost gave up on the Toyota Tacoma. You know, it was years ago, and it was, actually, I think it was my probably my first Toyota Tacoma. And I love that truck, man. It was that, I don't know what color. It was like a deep, dark blue. And I will admit, I had a chrome uh, bull bar on the front. Wasn't lifted or anything, you know, other than probably that bull bar. I mean, I don't think I had done any other modifications to it. I wasn't really confident enough, let's say, back then um, to do anything more major to it. And so that was about it. But I love that truck until this happened. So, so let me tell you a little story time here, I guess. Um, it was in the winter and I got the truck back then primarily because I wanted something that would get me through the snows uh, or the winter in, uh, in Ohio. We lived in Columbus, Ohio. And while we didn't get tons of snow there, uh, we did get snow. And there'd been a handful of times, probably more, where I had issues with the cars that I was driving. You know, I didn't have any kind of four wheel drive or anything. And there were a couple of times where I actually got stuck in my own driveway um, in a car, right? So I got this Tacoma thinking that, you know, it's gonna get me through anything, won't be a problem, should be fantastic, right? So winter time comes along, right? And we get a pretty decent snow for there. I mean, it was, and it was probably at least six inches, maybe eight inches of snow. It was a big snow uh, for the time. So I was actually heading out to pick up my daughter. I, I headed off and uh, a little bit of issues along the way. You know, there was some slippage and stuff like that, but you're gonna have that in anything that you drive. I don't care what you're driving. So I pick her up and we're heading back home and I get into my subdivision and I'm actually on the main drag and I'm gonna turn left um, to go into our court. I guess it was a court. So I slow down because it's very slippery and there's a lot of snow. They hadn't plowed the roads or anything. So I slow down and uh, I make my turn and in, I, I guess I was going so slow that I actually got stuck or stopped um, by the tires pushing against the snow, right? Again, it wasn't plowed. So I'm thinking, well, that's no big deal. I'll just whip it into four wheel drive or whatever and take off, no big deal. Well, this truck, and I forget which version it was. I don't remember if it was the off-road uh, or the sport. I think it was an off-road, but it had a locker in it, right? So the locker is on, the four wheel drive's on, I go to make the turn. I'm stuck. Actually, that happened before I kicked everything on. I was going in two-wheel drive for some reason. Uh, I kick it on. I hit the gas, and the truck won't move. And I'm like, you're kidding me. At least it won't move straight, right? So I'm starting to get concerned. I've got my daughter in the back. She's a baby, you know, little, or young anyway. And I'm thinking, we're right up the street from my house. It's cold out too, man. I mean, it's right after the storm, you know, when it gets really cold outside, right? So it's really cold outside. My truck's doing this. It's not moving forward. The back end, the rear end is just moving side to side. Like I'm just kind of gliding, right? I'm like, what the heck is this? This is four wheel drive. It's a locker, it's locked. The wheels should go. I should be able to, to get out, right? No, uh, that's not what happened. So then I decide I need to get out and I think I had a shovel. I may not have actually, I, I don't think I did, but I'm gonna move some of the snow away from the tires thinking that then it will actually allow me to, to get over the snow, if you will, and get moving. And it's freezing and I'm going nuts. You know, so I get outside and I do that. I, I push the snow away or whatever, and it still will not move. And it's not because of the snow. It was it was on ice. I mean, you know, underneath the snow. Of course, in Ohio, a lot of the times before we get the big snow, it rains. So you've got ice underneath the snow because now it's like freezing outside. 
and the truck will not move. So I mess with it. I probably, spend, and this is at the end of my street. I mean, I can see my house, right? So I spent probably, I don't know, 10, probably a good 10, 15 minutes, right? And I'm pulling the truck back and forth, you know, doing the old rocking thing, go straight back. And finally, I do get out. I do get it to move. But it was very frustrating, and I was not happy. I didn't figure you should get stuck in the snow in a truck, right? I mean, it's a four-wheel drive truck. Why would it get stuck, you know? In all fairness, too, uh, I didn't have any weight in the bed, so it was very light in the rear end. So I get home. It's the next day. And this was the almost the straw that broke the camel's back, right? It's the next day, and I'm going to leave. I've got to go to work. And... I'm in my driveway. My driveway was a little bit slanted, not much. It was it was probably almost level, but maybe a little slant to it, which doesn't really make any difference. That probably should have actually helped me out a little bit. So I go out, I start the truck, I'm in the driveway. It's uh, still freezing cold. It's now like seven o'clock in the morning, right? And it does the same thing, man. I get in it, I start it up. I put the four-wheel drive on, the locker's on it. I don't remember if the locker actually, I think the locker was the only option, if I recall. When you selected four-wheel drive, it was the locker in the rear. So it does the same thing. I'm in my driveway, and I'm just going sideways. Now, it's not severe. I mean, I'm not flooring it or anything because I'm in my driveway. I don't want to end up in my front yard. But it does the same thing. It starts gliding back and forth sideways and it's at this point that I'm like man this truck sucks you know I've made a mistake this thing is not gonna get me out and uh, I, I did finally I was able to back out of my driveway um, and go to work but it was at that point that I decided that at least the Tacoma with a locker in it wasn't for me right because it didn't do what I wanted it to do and there's no way that I should be getting stuck in my own freaking driveway with a four-wheel drive truck. So I traded it shortly thereafter, and it kind of put a sour taste in my mouth, I guess, uh, when it comes to the Toyota Tacoma. Now, of course, you know the rest of the story. Time passed, obviously. Um, I had second thoughts, changed my mind, and I did end up getting a different one. I will say I did not, and I have not had a rear locker um, since I had that Toyota Tacoma. All my others have been either, I don't think I ever had a two-wheel drive. I don't even know if you can get a two-wheel drive. Uh, but they were always four-wheel drive, no locker. And that was, a, I believe that was a second gen. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I believe it was a second gen Tacoma. Um, so it almost, almost, ruined my faith in the Toyota Tacoma, right? I almost gave up on the Toyota Tacoma when that happened. Fortunately for me, I did give it another try. Of course, I love the truck. I really did love that truck. You know, a part of me, uh, because of the power of it and the aesthetics of it, kind of wishes I still had it, even though I had that episode. And of course, where I'm at now here in, in South Texas, um, it's not an issue. We don't get snow but it'd be perfect here. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of tell you guys that little story. I was thinking about that the other day because I think about that truck once in a while. And, uh, and that was the time that I almost gave up on the Toyota Tacoma. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever had a vehicle that you really liked, but something happened and you gave up on it. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.